Welcome back to Pink Pinguini. In this video, I'll be testing out this Grow Your Own Crystal Mini Worlds Kit by Klutz. If you're new here, a big welcome and don't forget to subscribe. So I want to thank Brittany at Klutz for sending me this kit. It looks really cool. So let's get started. Ah, yes. Here's our supplies and here's the book. Let's open this up. With the tray of stuff we get, this bag of crystal powder, we have some air dry clay, we have pink, blue, yellow, and white. Little mini bottle that has glue, some colored tablets, glitter, nylon thread, pipe cleaners, craft sticks, little mini figurines, and then lastly we have some display stands and punch outs. First, I think these are the three choice these are the three choices of mini worlds you can make. Thinking of going for the easier one, which is... Wait, that doesn't look that easy. Okay, so I'm going to go for this one. Rainbow Valley. Cut three or four pieces of thin pipe cleaner, one and a half inches long. For each crystal color, cut out six inches of nylon thread. These are gotten tied, so we tape them like this. So now these two are ready, let's go to the next step. Follow the directions to seed and grow crystals on your pipe cleaners. Add one tablespoon of crystal powder to the jar. Okay, so since I'm going to be doing two colors, I'm going to do that again. Now have your adult assistant boil distilled water. And I'm taking one fourth cup and pouring it into the jar. And now, we stir the solution. Have your adult assistant put the lid on. Let the jar cool for about five minutes so that the solution is still warm, but not hot. So since my jars were bigger than theirs, I had to tape more string on. So I'd reach it. Then it says to just dip your pipe cleaner so it's totally soaked. And then we take it out and lay it on a plastic plate or lid. Let it completely dry. Overnight is best. And then we close this for future projects, it says. It's now day two and these pipe cleaners have dried and hardened. Now it's time for the growing solution. I'm going to reuse these jars and it says add four tablespoons of crystal powder. These each already have one tablespoon. So I'm going to add in three more tablespoons. And for the water, we need one cup and we have one fourth of a cup in each of these. So I'm boiling a few cups of water and I'm going to add three fourths of a cup of water into each of these. If you'd like to add dye, add it now. So now, stir the solution until all the powder completely dissolves. So these two jars have cooled for about an hour, and now I'm going to take pipe cleaner, and I'm just gonna hang them in the solution, I guess. You have to cover the jar's mouth with plastic wrap and secure it with a rubber band. Over the next two to four hours, crystals will start to form on the pipe cleaner. Try not to bump or move the jar. So now, this is day three. I let these crystals soak in its growing solution. So let's do the red one first. So I think they've like made crystals and now they just need to dry. That did not work out. Let me try and pull it. I have a feeling that it got stuck to the bottom. So what happened is that I think I let them harden for too long and now it's like really big. Oh, they did come out. Here they are. I didn't think that they would come out, but let's do the blue one. The wire broke off, so I'm just gonna pour the water into and then get it out. <laughs> so here's the blue one, and then these are the pink crystals. 
<gasps> so now I'm gonna make my landscape. But first, before we do that, I need to cut off the string. Now we need to start making the Rainbow Valley. I'm going to get display stands and pop outs. And for the Rainbow Valley, I need this magenta color stand. Here it is. Take this out. making the stand and I had to tape this because it kept falling out but it looks super cute and now I'm going to start on the clay part. Around the clay I chose this which has a raw landscape kind of and back here are pine trees. For the ground I have some white clay. This is very sticky. I got all of the clay out and now I'm going to roll it into a ball. So it says to make it one inch and a half wide but this is only one inch. I'm gonna combine them and make it green and add it to the white so it can be like green grass. Grassy color. Okay, and now I'm going to add this green into the white before it dries up. Ooh, it's so pretty. Here's my ball. I'm gonna press it down a little bit. And then we need our unicorn. And now we put the crystals in the back. Here's one pink crystal. I decided to only do two crystals because my crystals are a little chubby. And then we put it here. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some glitter on the front. crystal world. It has two crystals, a pink one, which is not really pink, and a blue one. The ground is light green with glitter, glittery pastures, and it has a unicorn, a tree, gumdrop, and some flowers on the crystals. And then the background is a forest, and here are some rocks, and then this is the magenta platform. So, I really liked this kit because the crystals were really pretty and it was really fun to decorate the landscapes for your world. This project did have to take a few days to make because of the crystals. If you like science and crafts, this is the right kit for you. I'll leave a link in the description down below on where you can get it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching Pink Pinkini and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!